So the Lightfall campaign has just been completed, um, and we got some interesting questions, and uh, the community is not too happy about uh, Lightfall, because this is actually probably one of Destiny's most rushed expansions they've ever made. Um, while Witch Queen and Forsaken were not rushed, they actually did like take their time with the narrative and did a lot of good stuff. This... But let's actually go over on, in today's video, we're going to go over on the Lightfall gameplay comparison and uh, the narrative and mainly just the dialogue and stuff. So uh, bear with me. This is in my own words, so don't take it like like personally. Like, oh, you're saying everything is wrong and yeah, Jada, you should uh, stop uh, doing videos on these. Um, I actually did kind of do a video on this back in Beyond Light where I said Beyond Light wasn't worth it. This is kind of a similar video to the Lightfall expansion. Now, don't get me wrong. This expansion was actually not a bad, ex it was actually a pretty good expansion, although there are some problems I do have with it. <coughs> Before we get into those videos, feel free to go down to the channel and, of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And, of course, if you guys haven't joined our Discord server yet, feel free to join that as well. It'll be in the link in the description below. I'll put in that in the description if you guys would like to join that. Let's go over the entire Lightfall main plot. So, Lightfall starts where the Witness has in the Witness and the Black Fleet are uh, invading the Traveler. That, that's just in my own words, uh, kind of, because they're trying to get an artifact from the Traveler, which is known as the Veil. However, um, the Witness needs Emperor Callus to actually handle the Guardians, so they don't try to reach the veil um but the witness actually succeeded on i'm pretty sure he did succeed on getting the veil at the final cutscene. but the question is what is this veil it is a type of artifact like a key but what is it the key to like we didn't get much explanation in this expansion which is a little unfortunate because didn't it didn't even tell us much about the veil we just say okay you gotta find the veil keep find the go and search for the veil before emperor callus or whatever gets the veil. Uh, we didn't get much info, and this was actually pretty rushed in because we didn't get much info about our cloud new Cloud Strider vendors, uh, Rohan and Nimbus, Rohan being the old man, Nimbus being the rookie, and this is pretty disappointing to see um, because we didn't get new history, like new lore about these characters or whatever. <clears throat> and let's go over Strand really quick. Strand has is an interesting super. Uh, I'm not saying it's terrible, but it's not as good as the original supers like Solar Arc or Void. Um, maybe it's better than Stasis. I don't know. It's a bit interesting. It's an interesting uh, super, but the thing that sucks about it is the cooldown makes it makes the grapple seem a little bit unfair. I feel like you should be able to use it kind of like every few seconds or something i don't know that seems a little too overpowering you guys would probably hate hate on that in the comment section but the community was pretty mad about um this expansion because of how rushed it was in destiny 2 um but yeah what the heck is this veil exactly like are we gonna ever find out maybe we'll find out in the final shape we'll see how that will affect it pretty soon but um yeah, let's go over more on what I think about this expansion. So gameplay-wise, I really did enjoy the campaign. The campaign was pretty cool. The final boss was actually the hardest um, part. Um, nothing too interesting. Uh, Neo Muna was a cool destination, although there wasn't... I'll be honest, there wasn't too much to do besides Terminal Overload. Or just doing normal patrols and, like, Vex incursions and... Um, all that other good stuff. There wasn't much going on, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. And remember, I like I said, this is in my own words. This is just what I think of the Lifehall campaign. It's a decent expand. I'm not going to say it's good or bad, but it's decent. It's in the middle. It's in like, okay, I'll say it's better than Shadowkeep. It was definitely better than Shadowkeep. Shadowkeep didn't really give us much. It was about nightmares and like... Uh, the lunar pyramid. We just got. We just stopping the nightmares. However, in Lightfall, it it was a bit more interesting because we actually fight Callus. We actually see what the the main plot of the veil is. But that's it, it's not as good as Witch Queen or Forsaken.
Now, the dialogue in the game, I, I will say it did get a little weird at times, like, because the, con- the story was just, like, really, like, confusing. A lot of weird moments. Nimbus was a little bit weird in some cases, but he was actually a decent vendor. Not like Finch or, unlike Finch or, um, uh, let's see, Petrovenge or any of those good uh, vendors we've gotten throughout the campaign. The uh, expansions. But this expansion has left many people pretty angry about uh, the uh, expansion. Like, for one, we had to go inside a inside the Typhon Imperator, which is the um, giant ship that Callus... Uh, it's Callus's ship, basically. And the question is, what the heck is the Radial Mist? We didn't even get much info about these, like, certain locations... Which we should, like, maybe maybe in the next seasons we should be able to. But overall, this season was decent. It wasn't anything like Forsaken or Witch Queen. Uh, I'm a little disappointed about the expansion because of how rushed it was. But it was it was decent. I will say it was actually not bad. Strand was actually pretty cool, the graphic and mechanic. Although the cooldown could have been a little bit less. But that's where all the uh, aspects and I think the aspects and fragments and just, like, the builds come from. And the new exotics you get, too. So, I guess I could count that. That's also a good thing. Here's the sad thing about Lifehall's expansion. When the trailer launched, we were really hyped for the expansion. We were expecting it to be a lot better than Forsaken and Witch Wound. But it didn't meet that goal. Uh, not really. It's it's decent. I'll, I'll Like I said, I'll give it... It's better than Shadowkeep and... And probably in probably uh, goes up with Beyond Light as well, but it's not nowhere near as good as Witch Queen or Forsaken. But um, we also got some other changes too. We actually have the Guardian Combinations Ring. I can go over that in the next video. The uh, new Guardian Ranks Combinations, and then you got the uh, reworked uh, Two Strikes, uh, Lake of Shadows, and uh, sh um arms dealer but to be perfectly honest guys there was not a lot going down with this uh expansion we were I th we were expecting to get a lot in uh new moon but really we didn't get much uh we got strand which is cool we got a new subclass but um to be honest after like the first few days you start to think man this is starting getting a little bit boring now i'm not saying it's a terrible uh s subclass but it's nowhere near as good as like Solar Arc or Void. But these are just my uh, opinions on the Lightfall campaign. The gameplay was good. The narrative was kind of weird, but it was all right. And then the game, yeah, the gameplay campaign. Campaign was good. Narrative was weird, but the gameplay itself was pretty good. Um, but it wasn't uh, as up to par with uh, uh, Forsaken and, uh, and uh, Witch Queen. But overall, those are my um, opinions on Destiny 2 Lightfall. Well, let's actually hope that um, uh, Defiance and... Well, actually, I've been playing Defiance as well. It's actually a pretty decent expansion. You guys should definitely play it. It's not, it's not bad, but this expansion is a step down from Witch Queen, and I have to say it's not as good as I thought it would be compared to the trailers we've gotten throughout the years. Um, but anyways, that's going to bring us uh, to the end of the video. Just a quick video, just a quick uh, video about my opinions on Lightfall. I want you guys to tell me in the comment section on what you guys think of Lightfall. Overall, pretty decent uh, expansion. If I had to do a rank video on expansions, I would give this probably either a, a B or a C, but nothing else higher because of how... Uh, disappoint. It was a little disappointing with the campaign because it was so rushed. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, Discord and uh, uh, social links in description below. And as always, my name's Javid, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone. I'll see you later.